Good morning, folks. It is Friday morning, 9.30, and we are having a road trip over to Barnsley to go and visit a very special place called Koi Masters, recommended by my mate Dave, who are known as Decoy on YouTube. If you don't already follow him, I suggest that you do, because his channel's great, the videos are always brilliant. So, go and give him a, a watch and a subscribe. But yeah, um, I've heard nothing but good things about Koi Masters and Chris Masters, who is the owner of Koi Masters. So, I've got a day off work today, so I'm, um, I'm heading over there to uh, check out to see what he's got, and you never know um, what we could come back with. Um, and we're also last over in Yorkshire, dropping in to see another lad who is on YouTube, who I subscribed to and subscribed to me, called Will. Uh, Will is in the process of setting up his own Koi outlet. Um, so I'll include them in my video too. But look forward to seeing both. And we'll check back later once we're there. Cheers, folks. So, we are just travelling back now from our visit to Blue Masters. Um, and what an absolute pleasure to speak to Chris Masters, who owns Blue Masters. Um, absolutely fantastic load. Uh, spent about an hour, an hour plus, just talking to him about Koi. Um, you know, the guy's been keeping Koi for 40 years, so what he doesn't know probably isn't worth knowing. Um, so I'll really open my eyes to a few things. Um, this fish, what he has there, are unbelievable. I can understand now why decoy won't buy his Koi anywhere else. They barely ask on him. Um, so. We have got a nice little purchase, I'm not going to reveal yet what it is, you'll have to watch the remainder of the video to see the unveiling, but um, I will tell you it's an absolute stunning fish, something I've been after for a while and I'm really over the moon. Um, I'm not too, I can't remember where it's from, again I'll have to um, text for you and ask, uh, Chris and ask him where it's from. It's, uh, it is unbelievable quality and it will be a, a welcome addition to the pond. But any of you who have never heard or been to Koi Master before, I highly recommend you know, a, a trip there. Um, he's a, a, a salt of the earth kind of guy. He tells it how it is, which is right up my street. Yeah, great, great selection. I've, um, I've only come away with one fish this time, but I've already got uh, another trip planned in a couple of weeks. Because uh, he has got a shower that is for sale. Um, it had a little mark on it where he thinks he's, he's knocked it with the net. Um, but Chris being the person he is, he doesn't want to release anything until it's fully healed and you know it's it's all ready to go so which is fair you that's great so I like that um, so hopefully we'll be bringing that back home to the pond and also some cracking little cheery stories there which I'm hoping to bring one of them home too so just the one for now but a real tale of one but, yeah, Koi Masters, Barnsley, absolutely superb. Um, big thank you to Nikoi for putting me on onto them. Um, probably my new um, Koi go to guy now because it's well impressive. Well, it, it just uh, I didn't um, do any videos whilst I was in there. I didn't want to um, be cheeky and ask if I could. But, I mean, this is the sort of guy. Uh, he'll probably tell you to piss off, but 
you know, that's fair news, but I didn't want to, their time meeting them, so I didn't want to be cheeky and ask if I could take um, some video. But maybe in the future we'll see that speed to piss on that and see how he thinks of it. But anyway, folks, I'm still currently travelling back and the weather is absolutely horrendous, so I'm going to um, leave it there and the next bit you'll see will be unveiling the fish. So, we're home now, and this is the little beauty what I have bought, and it is a lovely, lovely Kujaku. Um, I reckon it's about 35cm, maybe a just a touch bigger. Um, I can't remember. Um, the name of the koi farm in Japan, where it's from, I'll have to um, double check that with Chris Masters, but absolutely stunning, stunning fish, scalation on it is beautiful, so he's uh, been floating around in there now for about 35 minutes, so I'm just going to add some of my pond water, give him another 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll take it out and bowl it up, measure it and then get them in there. It, um, it is a male by the way, but I think it'll be a lovely addition to the pond. So, we'll add some water to it now and I'll get back to you. So this is the Oase Pond of Act 2 I picked up from uh, Will, uh, a guy who's on, on YouTube. Um, I'm well happy with this, this will do a great job. Um, I shouldn't really need to vacuum the bottom of this much because it's, it's got a bottom drain on it. But it's just at the moment there's a few bits of obviously alpha grog on the bottom when I initially started it up. So I just need to give it a good good vacuum to get them up. My um, I did have a pond vac but it, it blew up. It was an old one and it blew up. So obviously we'll add this one which was safe requir to requirements. So it done me a good deal on it. So. We swung by to his place to pick it up and I um, also took a look at his fish which were really really nice there's some really nice toast right there um highly recommend them so if you're, you're around the um, yorkshire area and want some original authentic japanese tosai get in touch with will um some really nice nice fish especially the the shiru tori he had uh, and the kajakus um, but it was nice to meet you well as well. Um, stay in touch. Uh, wish you all the best for your uh, business venture. Um, he's only a young lad, Will. You know, put a uh, credit to him for have, uh, having a go. Uh, he also um, manufactures and sells koi show ponds. So if you need in neither one of them, um, get in touch with him too. Well folks, there he is, I think you'll agree, it's an absolutely stunning fish, really old the moon with that, I've been after the Kajaki for a while now, a really nice quality one, Japanese one and really happy that I've got one, oh you see it, it's a real good size, I think it's roughly around just over 35 cm. But pattern and scalation on it is superb. Yeah, I must apologise to Decoy because I know he was potentially going to buy this fish. But um, when I, as soon as I seen it, I, 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 I knew how to have it. But the new edition, and hopefully, well, I'd say it, won't, it definitely won't be the last edition from Coy Masters. I'm well impressed with Chris. And his setup. But there you go. Kujaku, Japanese. So he's in the pond now. All settled, as you can see. He's been in there now for approximately an hour and a half, and he's he's absolutely settled fine. He's been up feeding already and having some grub. But well happy with that, absolute stunner. Great addition to the pond. 
so that will be it for additions for now for a few weeks anyway obviously I'm expecting um, water parameters to probably be a bit sketchy for the first few weeks with this obviously I've done a fishless cycle and I've added mature K1 to the 200 already so I'm Fingers crossed it might be too bad, but I am expecting some like high readings of nitrite and yeah, ammonia and stuff like that. But I tested the other day and everything was 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 all right actually. The only thing what was a, a touch low was the KH was at um, that was at three degrees. So we've added a bit of bicarb to that. Um, I will test again tomorrow as I'm gonna. Um, give the Nexus another flushing and clean or have another water change on it but no signs of anything bad in there as the fish are all happy as anything but yeah been a very good day and as you can see they're all happy I think the new Kajaku is probably on par with size wise as I think it's just a touch bigger than the Harawaki and it's probably the same size as the um, Achiever I got from Cuttlebrook but I'm really happy with the fish in there now really intrigued by the little show in the centre now from Adam Byer I think that's going to be a real nice fish that so close eye to that but I've got this net on it now that I made just obviously we're not putting the reef on it now, I needed some form of protection over it to stop the fish jumping out and then yeah, more importantly from headings that's just made from normal inch and a half pipe from tool station and a net from Amazon but well happy with the way it's looking at the moment I think you'll agree they all look nice and settled in there we've also had a good feed so yeah really really great day and uh, really great to meet um, Will one of the lads off YouTube as well and also uh, Chris Masters from Koi Masters with real pleasure to uh, speak to him today uh, regarding Koi um, trip to Japan um, and also you know filtration as well what it is um, beliefs are on filtration which was good to get another view on we'll take on uh, on board some of his uh, suggestions and, and what have you hopefully have a nice healthy pond anyway folks I'll um, let you go and thanks for watching um, notice that the um, subscribers have rocked it up at the moment I think they're touching near 500 now so I'm well happy with that thank you very much um, please keep liking um, subscribing and commenting on the videos it's always good to interact with everyone so let me know what you're up to at your pond um, hopefully by the weekend well definitely by the weekend the Nexus will be sold it's currently on eBay now so there's a, there isn't a lot, a lot of people watching it there's been a number of bids on it already so that should be gone hopefully by well it'll be sold definitely by Sunday because that's when the auction finishes but hopefully someone will come and pick it up next week so that'll be out the way but anyway guys thanks very much you guys have a lovely weekend and thanks for watching take it easy